In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top free plugins for Premiere Pro that are actually useful. And they're all for both Mac and PC, and I've linked all of them just down below if you wanna follow along as we review. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. First up is SoundQ by Pro Sound Effects. So Pro Sound Effects recently created a new app called SoundQ, and there's a free plan. So you can access over 2,000 sound effects and 100 music tracks and stems for free. So here in Premiere Pro, I have this clip of the skateboarder, and I want to add sound effects to make it feel more alive. So I can open up the SoundQ app, and this is what it looks like. If you want to search for sound effects, we can click on sound effects here. And then let's say we want to search for skateboard. Board. And let's say we want to use this sound of when he's going up the ramp. If I want to send this to Premiere Pro, I can just click on this little green icon and it sends it off to Premiere Pro and it places it immediately here in my timeline. So I can go here and just line it up at the beginning here of this clip and this is what it sounds like. So I can add a couple more sounds and that's what I did. I went back to sound cue and I imported a couple more sounds to get this final effect. And I think my favorite part about SoundQ is that I didn't have to go online, search, download, drag it into my project folder, and then import it in Premiere Pro. It's all done automatically from SoundQ. You can see here underneath this dropdown, you can choose where you want the sound file itself to be imported into. You can see here that it's automatically imported into the same folder as my Premiere Pro project folder. So it just simplifies the whole process. If we go back to the website here and scroll down, you can actually see that there's a getting started video with me. I produced a 10 minute long video that you can click on here. Hey everyone, Kelsey here to get an introduction to how to use SoundQ, all of the little shortcuts and everything like that. So you should at least have installed SoundQ, the free version, because why not? You get thousands of free sound effects. And I forgot to mention, there's also access to freesound.org. So you can click here to search the free sound library in addition to the free sound effects provided by SoundQ. And you can also import your own sound effects. You can also add your own collection of sound effects. So if you have a bunch of sound effects just sitting on your computer, you can import them as a collection like I did here, my sound effects. Let's just remove skateboard. And you can see here, I have all these sound effects here and I can easily just send them to Premiere Pro without having to search for them on my drive. So it just brings it all together in one app called SoundQ. And if you upgrade, you can get 100,000 sound effects plus 20,000 music tracks and stems. And using my discount code PremiereGal, you can get three months free access to all of this royalty-free sound. So it's a pretty good deal. And the second free plugin is called YouTube Chapters, which is available on the Adobe Exchange. It's completely free. And make sure that Premiere Pro is closed before you install it. So let me show you how it works. So as you can see in my timeline here, I started to add markers in my sequence. So at this moment, if I wanted to create another marker, I can press M and just type in editing with the text panel and press OK. So I could just go through and press M, create a new marker as I'm going through the edit. And then once all the markers are done, I can go up to window extensions and open up YouTube chapters. And here I can select get YouTube chapters. And it just turned those five markers that I had into chapter markers. And you can see it auto generated in the correct format for YouTube. So now I can just select this text, copy it and paste it in my YouTube description box. So that way you don't have to like scrub through and look at the time code. It'll do the time code for you. If this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And I run monthly workshops over at Superpeer. Go to superpeer.com slash gal and you can go register for an upcoming workshop. And the next free plugin is AE Juice. So if you go to the link in the description, you can download the free starter pack, which includes liquid and shape elements, transitions, slides for slideshows, simple transitions, flat icons, and UI elements. So a hundred assets that are kind of a sampler of the bigger pack. And if you want to learn about their giant I want it all bundle, you can just watch right up here. There's a card to watch that. So there's the starter pack. And then there's also some sound effects as well that come with that. So you can download for Windows or Mac and make sure that Premiere Pro is closed before you install. So then in Premiere Pro, we can go to Window, 
extensions and open up the AE Juice Pack Manager. So from AE Juice, once you're logged into your account, you'll see if you've purchased anything. So I have the whole I Want It All bundle, which includes, you know, Cyberpunk, Neon Glitch Shapes, all of these different packs here. And then you'll see here that there's the starter pack and the sound effects free. So you click on the one that you want to open and here you can see and preview all of the different effects. So if you wanted to add this explosion coming off that skateboarder, you can double click and it will download it. You need to be connected to the internet. That's an important note here. And then once it's downloading, it will import automatically here into the timeline. So now I'm going to quickly use the effect controls to reposition this explosion burst so it's exactly over when he jumps. And so this is what it looks like. So that's just one element, right? But you can see that there's a lot of different free media placeholders for different slideshow reveals. There's liquid transitions and a bunch more. So why not? It's free. Download the starter pack. The link is just down below. I think my favorite part about the AE Juice Pack Manager is that everything is in one space. So everything that you download is here inside of the products panel and you can always purchase or download new packs directly from the panel. And there's no need to go back online to download anything and then import it in Premiere Pro. It does it for you. And next is Yarly's Premiere Pro presets. You can see here it's version 4.0 and he will update this regularly when he goes in and makes new ones. But there's over 106 presets, which includes color presets, shake presets, and transitions. And the way that you download is you just click download. So you'll need to unzip the file and then you'll see that there is a preset file. To import this, go to effects. You're going to control click or right click on presets and import presets. And then you're going to select the .prfp set file and then hit open. So then underneath presets, you can now see that Yarly's presets are here. There's a bunch of different folders from audio tools all the way down to obsolete presets. To demonstrate a camera shake, for example, on this clip, this is just a steady shot, right? There's no movement, it's just a tripod shot. What we can do is we can go to Deadpool handheld camera presets for any footage. Let's try the small camcorder and just drag this onto the clip and this will make it look like it's handheld. So it just gives it a more like home video type of look. Let me show you a little bit more. Underneath misc effects, there is bad TV reception. So if we drag and drop this on the clip, it'll look like it's an old TV effect, which is a pretty cool one for music videos and stuff like that. Let's show you another one. We can actually create a transition between this clip and this one, but first we can go to project and let's control click and create an adjustment layer. So now we can drag this adjustment layer into our timeline and then we just need to trim the adjustment layer down so it's shorter and we can always make adjustments later on to this adjustment layer. So from here, we can then go to our presets again and let's go to a transition. Let's try the swish pan blur and let's drag it on to the adjustment layer. If we go to effect controls, now we can see this is the transition length and here's the midpoint. So we can create a marker at this midpoint and move it at that cut point. So now that's the transition. And you can add like a whoosh sound effect there. And the next one is film impact. I've talked about film impact transitions before. They're the fastest drag and drop transitions for Premiere Pro. And if you wanna learn about all of their different transitions, you can click up here to watch that review. But from their website, it's important to note that down here, you can start absolutely free for 30 days and get access to all of their transitions without any watermarks. And then here it says four premium transitions are a free bonus. So those four free video transitions within their 58 tools remain free forever. So you can sign up for free using my link below. I also have a discount code there if you want to get 10% off their annual plan. So after it's installed, you're going to go to effects and search for film impact. And you can see here, I have all of the transitions, which is part of the big bang subscription. But let's say that your 30 days is up and you don't have the funds to subscribe yet. The four that remain are part of the Film Impact Essentials light. So the blur to color, flash impacts, push, and roll remain free. So if I wanted to use the roll, I could just drag and drop this between the clips and it functions like a standard transition built inside of Premiere Pro. And I can delete this adjustment layer here and then make this smaller. And then between these two clips, 
it's a roll transition. And when you select this transition and go to effect controls, you can see you have a lot more customization. So you can choose how many rolls you want, how much blur do you want? So if I wanna increase the blur up, now you'll see that there's more blur and it looks nicer. So Film Impact, you might as well try it out for 30 days free with all of the transitions and then you still have those four that are free forever. And there's a lot more free plugins that I use that I've linked just down below if you wanna take a look and check it out. One of them is AE Viewer, which allows me to organize my Mogerts. And if you wanna learn how that works, you can click right over here to watch that video and you can click over here to go check out the presets and templates that are on my store. If you have any questions about the plugins, just leave a comment below Hello. And yeah, I hope you find these tools useful and thanks for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.